Flint, Michigan deals with the fallout of a toxic water crisis. The concern is spreading across the country, like in New Orleans, where the drinking water flows through lead pipes installed nearly 100 years ago. So how can you ensure that your water is safe to drink? President and CEO of the Green and Healthy Homes Initiative, Ruth Ann Norton, joins us now with the best ways to test and filter your water at home. Thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me. A lot of me. concerned parents out there. So initially, if, if we want to go to the top and get our water tested, where can we go? Well, let me, let me say that you have to use a, a, a certified lab by the EPA. You can go to the epa.gov slash lead website and find out where those uh, labs are in your community. It should cost about 7 to $10 to get that water tested. But you can also make sure if you live in a home built uh, after, before 1986, by flushing the cold water and letting it run for 5 to 30 seconds before you use it um, is something a safe tip. That's a nice totally precautionary good. measure, too. Okay, so first up, we um, can test our own water at home, too. Right. Uh, you, can, you, can, you can put it into vials and then send it to a certified lab, uh, but there are very few test kits that actually meet the standard on the market, and people should be careful not to buy something that isn't going to be helpful to them. Well, what can we do that's helpful? Well, I, uh, so if they, you have an NSF-certified uh, filtration system, there's only one made for pitchers. It's the NSF-certified uh, standard. There are pitchers like Brita and Culligan and Pure that will reduce lead. You can put them on uh, your, your systems, on your faucets mm -hmm. and pitchers, yeah. but you're best to get that certified. Uh, okay, so let's again. start here. So this, this is your pitchers that, that, would, that are the ones being given out in Flint are the zero water uh, uh, pitchers, which are certified uh, NSF. These Britas also do reduce lead as uh, do the ones that go on to the faucets. You know, it's important to know uh, if you have, a, have brass mm -hmm. fittings or older pipes uh, that lead in water is incredibly dangerous. Oh, um, yeah. I mean, and, and what are some of the after effects if, if your child is drinking water that has uh, a, a well, there's undue amount of lead? Yeah, 535,000 kids that we know about in the U.S. poisoned every year by lead, predominantly by lead-based paint and the toxic dust that comes from that. Lead in water, lead in soil, also important. If a child is found to be lead poisoned, any, any amount of elevation, as the federal guidelines say, can be damaging. Uh, and it can be damaging to the brain, to right? The brain. It affects their behavior Absolutely. and their it's, IQ, it's re potentially. Reading disabilities, uh, certainly uh, attention deficit disorder, hearing loss, violent behavior. It also has impact on the kidneys and heart and long-term okay. uh, mortality. So it sounds like we ought to send our, our water away or take it to a site if we can. Also run our water for 5 to 30 seconds um, before we use it and put it through one of these filters. Is there any visual test we can do that will, sh will well, share you any can, information you with? You can test your pipes if you got, can use a lead check swab it, or a, a swab on your pipes, but it's still better to have a certified testing uh, organization right. to do this because the impact of lead poisoning is irreversible. So oh. even levels as low as two micrograms per deciliter okay. have long-term impact. And again, uh, the website is, is go to the EPA so that you can figure out which filter works and where your testing sites Absolutely. are. Ruth Ann Norton, thank you so much. and thanks.